Okay, here's uh, one of the coolest little toys in my ham shack. And that's an Elecraft KX1. This one is uh, 80, 40, 30, and 20 meters. Puts out um, anywhere from 2 to about 4 watts, depending on the power source. I'm going to hook it up here real quick and give you a demo, but let me pause this and take the uh, back cover off and show you a little bit of the inside. Okay, here's the innards. And um, this one's also got uh, the automatic antenna tuner. These rigs are designed to be used uh, backpack portable. Throw a wire up in a tree, a couple counterpoise wires, plug, plug it right into the BNC connector and get on the air. Um, it literally fits in your hand. And you can see the uh, battery packs here. So uh, 9 volts is what you get. Three AA batteries of your choice go right inside. I don't store any batteries in it. But I have used it off that battery pack and made a bunch of contacts. So uh, anyway, you can see the crystal filter there in the center, which is variable bandwidth, and that's very handy. We'll show you that here in a second. Anyway, let me get the cover back on. Oh, by the way, the whole cover comes off with just uh, these two thumb screws here. So it's real easy. It only takes a second. Okay, so here we go. little homebrew stand I made for it, because... Uh, you know, I'd like to have a little bit of an angle. But uh, let's turn it on and see what happens here. Oh, got to plug the power in. Hang on. I forgot I didn't have any batteries in it, remember? Okay, got an external battery plugged in now. Turn it on. Comes up where I'm 40 meters at uh, someplace 38. Point zero on the dial. Now if I press this switch in the middle that says band on it, it'll tell me the exact frequency. Lower side band 7138 is what it's set up for now. So let's tune around a little bit and hear some side band. If we can find a signal. Uh, using, uh, sloping dipoles here, steerable array of if I hit these two buttons oops, together, I get an S meter reading. And if I adjust the tuning dial at all, it goes from the S meter mode back to the dial reading the dial. So that's pretty slick. I can narrow the filter width here. This is very effective on CW, by the way. You can narrow it down. I forget exactly how far. And in a minute I hit the dial, or the tuning dial, I get the display back. You can all, there's also a, a, a menu entry to um, have the dial time out after so many seconds if it's left in the uh, tuning dial mode. So there's a lot of different options. This is really designed to be a QRP battery powered low, low current consumption uh, field type radio. So uh, anyway, let me uh, show you something else here. Hang on. Okay, so when I hit the band button in the middle here, I get L for lower sideband and 7175. I'm on uh, the 100 hertz tuning dial setting. Now by tapping the VFO knob, I can go to 10 hertz or to 1 kilohertz, um, like so. So I can tune across the band very quickly, 1 kilohertz at a time, 
tap the knob again and I tune in 100 hertz increments and tap the knob again and I'm down to 10 hertz increments. Again, very handy for CW. Okay, so while we're still up here on the sideband part, let's run through the menu real quick. If I tap the switch on the end here that says menu, I'll get a bunch of options. This controls the display, the timeout feature, and uh, the LED brightness. And if I advance um, the tuning knob, I get the next, which is side tone pitch. I have it set for like 650 hertz. Um, advance it again. Oops, I skipped one there. Side tone pitch, side tone level, message repeat, um, iambic A or B, the input whether it's a paddle, normal, reverse, or straight key, all the different menu options um, in here. A battery warning that you can set uh, when your battery voltage reaches a certain level, it'll give you a warning. Um, and that's for the uh, antenna tuner. Recall uh, programmed in uh, memories, two per band, and play two different messages, um, like a call sign and a quick report or something. So that's uh, side tone level, side tone pitch. TR, uh, QSK delay, message repeat, uh, what kind of keying device, iambic A or B, and some of these you don't use very often. But anyway, that's the menu stuff. And just tap it again to get out of it. Okay, so now we want to uh, do a little CW with this thing, and we're going to change the receiver mode. By holding the menu and the RIT buttons together, we'll go from the L, lower sideband, to N for normal. Whoops, upper sideband first, and then normal. So now we're in the total CW mode, and I'm going to tune all the way down very quickly using the 1 kilohertz tuning steps. And now we'll change the rate a little bit and look for some CW signals down here somewhere. We get one close, we tap the knob again and get down to 10 hertz. Of course you just sign it. We'll try to tune somebody else in here. Of course there's nothing going on. We may want to make a little demo. Anyway, uh, if you forget where you are, all you got to do is tap the band switch once, 7037.23. Okay, anyway, still not hearing anything, so I got a little paddle hooked up here. You can get an idea of the QSK ability. When you go into transmit, the bottom scale is 0 to 3, that's power output in watts. So I'm, I'm hitting it at 2.5 watts output right now. And if I press menu and band together and hold them, it activates the automatic antenna tuner. It gives me the power output, 2.3 watts, and then you hit any button and it gives you the SWR, 1.0 to 1. Pretty slick. <laughs> really is slick. Uh, they thought of uh, quite a bit here when they designed this thing. Okay, we've got some activity here. I want to show you how the filter works.
pretty effective. So it's wide enough to receive sideband, which you can narrow it right down. VE and a K2 going at it there. Adjusting the RF gain and the variable IF filter can uh, make for pretty pleasant copy most of the time. WA3I is working some uh, somebody out in zero land, I think. Anyway, of course, it's got RIT. So you got a pretty good swing of RIT. You can also clear it. Um, what else? Oh, nice handy little lamp here. Uh, map light or logging light light up a little area underneath it if you're going to use it at night or whatever. But it's very tiny and very high performance if you can live with, uh, you know, the low power output. And that's kind of the fun of it, actually. Okay, so to change bands, um, let me turn the light off. To change bands, you hit the band twice. We go from 40 to 30 to 20. There's only a 40 meter antenna on it, by the way. And then uh, 80 meters. But the receiver is excellent. And um, it's just packed with all, diff all kinds of features. So, anyway. There you go, Mark. Pick one up if you can. Um, I think uh, a lot of guys may have uh, offered these for sale because they went with the KX2, but uh, hope, hopefully you can find one at a reasonable price. Anyway, this has been long. Sorry. Keep on tinkering.